Uh, I just wear, I mean, just commuting around town, maybe just pants rolled up, roll up just the right leg so it doesn't get in the chain. Mm. Usually wear like longer socks if it's cold out. Um, if I'm changing at work, I'll wear just kind of older kick around the house pants and maybe like a dry fit sure. shirt. Or, I mean, if it's not really warm out, you can kind of get away with just riding in your work clothes as long as you roll up the pant leg so that it's not going to get in the chain. Okay. You want to make sure your shoes are tied because if your shoelace gets caught in the, in the chain or the crank set pedal area, that's just all sorts of no good. Gloves help. Personally, I don't use them. It's a personal preference. Um, if it's cold out, always wear gloves. <laughs> it keeps your hands from freezing off. Um, you know, if it's rainy, you can get it. They have just a regular rain jacket. Everyday rain jacket would work, or something that's water resistant. It doesn't have to be a bicycling specific rain jacket. Mm. Um, usually, you'll probably want to change your clothes. Maybe some fenders. Mm. You can get those at the local bike shop for pretty cheap, and they just kind of snap on. Cool. They're pretty easy. Okay. Um, so if you have like a five or ten minute bike commute and it's you know flat, no real hills or anything, you're probably not going to get a ton of fitness from it, but you're going to get the health benefits of you know, lowering blood pressure, decreasing your cardiac disease risk, and all the things associated with just being active. Um, but for people that maybe commute 20 miles to work or 10 miles to work, and it's, you know, 15 minute, 30 minute, an hour bike ride in, you're definitely going to improve your fitness because you're just doing it for longer. Yeah. So. so if you got a hilly route, you're definitely going to get more fitness from that because you're going to have to be going harder to get up the hills. So I guess it's kind of a combination of how long the ride is and how hard you ride it. So if you have a flat ride, but you ride it hard, and you're kind of tired when you get to work, that's probably increasing your fitness rather than if you're riding the whole time and your breathing never changes at all from when you're walking. Um, you might not gain a whole lot of fitness, but again, you're still getting all the health benefits of just being active and saving money or not spending money on gas or putting miles on your car or having emissions go into the environment. So. Losing weight is one of your goals and you're overweight. It's going to help you get up the hill by losing a few pounds, but you want to do it in a healthy manner. You don't want to you know, crash diet and try to lose weight if you don't necessarily need to. If you have the money for a more efficient bike or a different gearing system, that's always going to help. Um, probably talk with your doctor before looking at losing any weight just to see if there's any pre-existing conditions or any special things you should do. Oh, I like bike commuting. It's fun. You, know, you get to go out and you deal with the cars, but you get to ride your bike and you're actually getting somewhere riding your bike and, you know, everyone else drives and you get to show up at work and everyone thinks it's neat because you're actually being active and kind of makes them feel lazy and might motivate other people to ride their bike to work because they see that happening. Yeah. So, yeah. That's true.